your site forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Another spectacular day. The streak of dry weather continues. And you know, next week we may change some things, but the chances of rain are beginning to diminish for next week. I just think we'll get a lot of cloud cover, and those temperatures are going to start to come back down as we head into the weekend. Starting out this morning, those high, thin clouds as the sun was rising, streaming on through. A lot of blue skies, although you see those thin clouds kind of changing direction and developing over the Boise front. Right now, we still have some of those high clouds around. And again, it is mostly over Ada in Canyon County, and then a straight line across east of us, which is right on over to Sun Valley. But all in all, still very pleasant. A view of the village and the fountain here, showing some folks uh, enjoying themselves in the nice weather. The blossoms are out, and pretty soon uh, this is going to get obscured as these leaves begin to uh, develop and these trees start growing a little bit more. We won't have as good of a view, but it's a sign that spring is here with this mild, dry weather. We're likely to see some of those changes coming in rather quickly this spring. Uh, temperature is 66 degrees. Wind northwest at 12, not too bad. Tomorrow at this time, wind northwest probably oh, 25, 24 miles an hour with gust over 30 and maybe even gust of 40 for a brief time during the early evening hours. So the wind will be an issue tomorrow and it is going to take that pollen count through the roof. I'll have my pollen report coming up. It has gone up. I'll detail that in just, well, in the next half hour anyway. 66 in Boise, 70 in Twin. It is warmer east and west of Boise because of the little uh, bit of cloud cover here keeping our temperature down a bit. 90 in Vegas. Most of the west is pretty warm. Cool air is pushed way to the east, and likely we'll see that cool air from the west start to move right back in for tomorrow, and those temperatures will be dropping a bit. And we'll notice a change because of the wind coming in. We'll have the sunshine. It will look nice, but it will feel a little bit cooler during the day. So 70s around the Treasure Valley. There's that patch of cloud cover right over Ada County and Southern Canyon County. And it's sliding to the east. It may continue to keep clouds streaming, but further to the west, we'll have plenty of sunshine around. You see it on the satellite picture. And it is amazing how well the computer forecast showed exactly this. And it showed this one little stripe of clouds. And I thought, well, that's probably not going to happen exactly like it shows on the computer. It's just a computer modeling. And I'll tell you what, it is right on the mark because it was exactly over Boise. It is crystal clear north and south everywhere. It goes straight across east uh, to Idaho Falls. Kind of interesting little uh, science there going on. This low pressure to the north is going to dive to the southeast and this is going to be vigorous as it moves to the south. That'll whip a cold front through and that'll bring the cooler air in tomorrow but the strong winds that will be the key and the strong gusts that I mentioned. There's the cold front coming through in the morning. May not be windy when you wake up. It'll get breezy pretty quick and the winds will pick up during the afternoon. Now when the, the west central mountains are chance for a rain or snow shower here that will dive to the south and to the east and then just dry right on out on Sunday. Again, sunshine Saturday, sunshine Sunday, especially on Sunday, but windy Saturday and a little breezy on Sunday, frost likely on Sunday morning. You want to see how chilly it is. Look at these temperatures. Computer charts show, look at this 49 in Billings and 62 in Casper on Saturday, 63 in Boise. The cold air drops to the south. It drops to 29 in Casper for the high temperature. So that's a blast of cold air diving to the south. We'll have the wind from it. You see the breezy conditions will really kick in tomorrow. This is wind right here and a lot of it. A stronger gusts in the afternoon and evening. On Sunday, this does not look as dramatic, but it is still going to be breezy. It is still going to be chilly. It will warm up a little bit for the early part of next week, but we're still talking about temperatures staying on the chilly side here for a little while. Look at this. Tomorrow, temperatures low to mid-60s. With the strong wind, it will feel cooler. Now, keep that in mind. It'll look nice outside, but it is going to be getting on the chilly side outside there as well. Temperatures in the 50s in Long Valley, 60s in Boise County with a mix of sunshine and clouds, maybe a snow flurry or a rain shower. And in the Magic Valley, a windy day, gusts 35 to 45 miles an hour late of the day, 66 degrees in Twin. My on your side extended forecast is a chilly one for Sunday. You wake up in the morning, it will be chilly. And if the breeze picks in, late morning Sunday could be real cold because it will still be in the 40s and yet we'll have the wind blowing. And that makes it feel even cooler. So cooler this weekend. That will be the key, but it will be sunny. And that 33 Sunday morning could be frost. Cooler in different parts of the valley. That's too. right. Yeah. It, it frost Sunday and Monday. Count on it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Scott. Hillary Clinton comes under fire, not by the GOP, 